Welcome back to Clay Chick Outdoors. We are pike hunting once again with this man right here, Carter Exner. We didn't put him on a big one the last time we fished, so hopefully this time we're gonna connect with it. And I say not a big one, a 36 incher is still a beautiful pike, don't get me wrong. We just both have our goals set obviously a little bit higher. Yeah, big, 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 big. The bigs, the biggest of the bigs. We've got an awesome setup here on a brand new spot that we've never fished before. We've got the truck in the center of our spread. We've got four holes out here and like eight feet, five feet, six, 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 something like that. Yeah, a little bit of a spread. It's a big mud flat. And we'll talk a little bit more about why mud flats this time of year. But right now I've got the head camera on. We're going to put out our first couple of baits. Carter's already got the live well started right here in case we hook into one right away. But we'll get the baits going right away and then uh, we'll talk a little bit more about why, what, where, all that fun stuff here at some point. I have done a bad job in the past of talking a little bit more about structure and the how-tos and all that type of thing. So we're going to cover a little bit more of that right now, today in this video. I will bring two baits and one tip up and you can bring the flasher and one tip up. Carter, flag. Holy. Yeah, happened quick. I'll bring the camera. I got the tools, you just come over there. <laughs> Carter's drilling holes for the cameras right now, for the underwater camera. So we don't have any underwater cameras on. And we already had a flag go. Like, pretty much instant. This is awesome. That didn't take long. Like five minutes. It went off like almost as soon as you started drilling. You just couldn't hear me. I was yelling. I'm like, Carter, Carter. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm like, oh, I'll just wait. Well, first flag, false flag, as we say, in the pike fishing world. Carter's drilling four holes right now for the underwater cameras. I'm not sure which hole we're going to put them at yet, but we'll just keep to it. We've got all four tip-ups officially out anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Look at pike. How's that for timing? Uh, oh, it just ate it. It spit it out, but it just ate it. He's not that big. <laughs> How's that for timing right here while we're sitting here? He's not tiny. That's just a, as his spot. I guess I forget too. I'm pretty far away from the camera right now, so. <laughs> well, that's pretty good timing. I got all, all the tools and stuff are over there because we're getting setting the camera up. <laughs> oh, that's a good sign anyway. We got a flag. We got to grab the tools off the tailgate. We got a flag. We've been sitting in the Ow. truck waiting for this moment. What's wrong? Your hand sleeping? No, I just caught it in the door. Oh no, are you okay? Yeah. Carter just caught his hand in the door. Oh well, you'll live, right? I think so. We've been waiting for a flag. It's 2.30, 2 it's been slower. Oh, this is one with the camera too at least. So at least we'll get to see what was going on here. No matter what, we haven't had much action at all. But let me check the camera first. Yeah, the line went that way towards the camera for sure. Okay, real toast tight. Real. If you feel weight, just pull up. Got him? Yeah, you got him. You got him. You got him. You got him. Wow, got some weight, eh? It's like 
cutting in the cutting ice. Cutting the ice, yeah, it's okay though. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna make sure it's not rubbing on the camera. I'm gonna pull the camera up. You just keep fighting. I might be caught on the camera. Yeah, loosen your drag. He had come up. Loosen your drag, yeah. I'm gonna pull the line off the camera here. Still fighting you. Pull some yeah. more line out. We're stuck right here. Just wait. I can feel him fighting. He went up and over the camera. That's why we saw the camera move when we got here. Okay, real, 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 real. You got him. You got him. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I don't think it's small. It's definitely got some weight. Nope, your mic oh. fell off, but that's okay. I just saw him for a second. Wow. Wow. Just let him go. Yeah, just let him go. Oh. That was crazy. That was a good run. It was a really good run. I saw him for a second, but I didn't get a good. I didn't. I should have glanced longer. If he's big, what we'll do is we'll just take him right to the live well. Oh, you excited? That was a good run, eh? You can't believe he was stuck on that camera. It's right there. Oh, it's big, Carter. Yeah, that's a big fish. Go uh, pull out a little bit of drag here. It's big, Carter. It's big. <laughs> it's big. I just want him to go. I need him to get to go over to the hole a little bit. I can feel my thumb right now. I know you stuck your hand in the door. <laughs> eh? I know. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But it's I don't big. like when they do that. I know. I know. It's big, Carter. See, I told you. Just patience, right? Just patience. I told Carter, I'm like, we're set sword. up on a big mud flat. We're just, oh, it's big. It's big. Here it comes. Here it comes. Carter, it's the tank. It's a tank. Okay, let's go to the live all with them so you can hold this thing for the camera too. It is big. Look at the back on that thing. Wow. Okay, we got the fish in the live well. We're gonna let Carter do everything. How's, let's see your thumb first. How's your thumb? Carter slammed his thumb in the truck door. And he was that excited to get out there for that flag. This fish is a tank. It's easily the thickest fish I've seen this winter. It is huge girth, huge. We're gonna bring it up, measure it. Carter's gonna show it off to the camera right here. And then we're gonna put it down the release hole. Okay, Carter, bring it up. Show the measure, measure that puppy. <laughs> Get a good grip with your thumb. Yeah, right there. Yeah, support its belly. That thing is so thick. Show it first. Yeah, show it right here. Not a boy. Unreal, unreal, Carter. What a monster. Look at that thing. Wow, 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 wow. What a gut. I'm not even focused on your head. I'm like so focused on the fish. It's so good. Okay, put her on the board quick. Jeez, that is that is a big fish. It's not crazy long. 41 and a half. 41 and a half. But absolute tankness. Beautiful fish. Okay. Right there. Giant. Giant, buddy. It's a big fish. Okay, and down the hole. It's big. Like this is a big mama. Got a boy. Right there. Hold it down in the hole for a second. That's big. Hands cold, hey? There she there goes. There she goes. Oh, that was awesome. So I had some audio go bad. They're not, not necessarily go bad. An audio pack die on me. I'm hoping it was after we dealt with Carter's fish. If not, audio might be a little bit sketchy on there. I apologize for that if it is, but I just put up the drone for a little bit just to kind of talk about what we're fishing right now. When you're, you're gonna target bigger pike, especially into that, March season where they're starting to uh, set up for their spawn. So right now it's kind of like a pre-spawn. You can never go wrong with like giant mud flats. So like right now we have one hole that is in eight feet. We have one hole that's in five feet, another one like five and a half type of thing, another one in six. So we're right on kind of like uh, a, a, just a slow slope transition into the shallow, shallow waters. Like way back behind us, there's like two feet foot of water, but we're kind of set it up right on the end, the end of the start of it, I should say. 
just off the eight foot hole, it kind of drops off into some deep, deep water, like 30, 40 feet type of thing. So we're up on like the first stage of that shelf, hoping for those fish to come up and they cruise these mud flats like all day sometimes, right? Whether it's looking for a meal or just kind of setting up for their spawn. I find a lot of times a bite to be better when that sun is shining. And literally the sun broke out for a little bit and that's when that flag went off. So it's, it's really hard to say, no, you're not gonna have good, good days of pike fishing when it's cloudy out too. But my favorite days to pike fish are when it's sunny. It seems to be always be the ticket, especially in those uh, days where you are up on those mud flats. But it's all it is, it's just a giant mud flat. And we got our baits all kind of just spread out here. I got the truck in the middle of the setup. And like I said, eight foot, five, five and a half, six foot, having the baits right now spread out on a mud flat is probably like the in a, a square is a great way to do it whether say i was going to fish on um the edge of a drop off where i was going to have a bait in, in five feet seven feet eight feet 15 feet then i'd run more like a fence with my tip ups but right now it's all about just spreading them out and covering a bunch of water and we got the truck parked right in the middle because you can only legally be 25 meters from your tip up in saskatchewan so it gives us, you know, we can set up camp right in the middle and still be legal to every flag that we have out there. And like I said, we have four of them because there's two of us, we're allowed two lines each. And we just have on today, six, seven inch Cisco's just hanging anywhere between about a foot to two feet off of the bottom. There's no really rhyme or reason like where you can run your bait, sometimes flat on the bottom, sometimes right underneath the ice. There's so many different things you can do, but just switch it up once in a while, right? Like I said, foot to two feet off the bottom for us and we won't really know what was in this whole area until we look at the footage at the end of the day and I'll, I'll overplay I'll play some footage right now if we had some fish cruising around here maybe that we didn't catch some at some point or another if they were in this area but we had one flag like go off instantly and then just as I was setting up the underwater camera over there we watched a fish come in and I don't think it ate the bait it, maybe it mouthed it for a second and just let go it was probably like a 30 five to a 37 inch fish from what I could tell. I don't know for sure, I've got all my, I've got super clear water. So I've got my camera about four feet away from the baits today. So I've got them a lot further away than a lot, than a lot of times when I run, if the water isn't as clear, I might be running a bit closer, but just a little bit of things to look for. But in that March, big mud flats, they're so good. And then just slowly swim away. Into the camera. We got a flag, Carter. Well, we got a flag. Nice, I'll get the camera. I'll get the camera. <laughs> Here we are talking about how Carter's Pike ate his bait. I got tools. I do too. Oh, we'll take two sets of tools then, just in case. And uh, this flag over here went off for us. So if it's 47 or bigger, I'll take it then. Just kidding. Peeling any line at all? Go on the other yeah, side. Ooh. No, we'll go on the other side. Go on the other side, other side, other side. Other side, other side. All right. Uh, you're probably good. Probably good. It peeled some line, so. Yeah. Just reel till it's tight, and then hit him. Oh, he got the bait even. Bugger, okay. That's unlucky. I can't believe he got the bait. Okay, I'll go get, uh, that. this thing probably hadn't moved at all, so it'll no. be good. I'll get another bait and we'll set it up quick. Oh, it's peeling, yeah. Grab the rod, point it towards the hole. There you go, yeah, just wait though. There you go. Okay. Yeah, you can close up. Hit him right away, got him. Got him. Nice. Pretty head shaky. Can't tell size yet. That was awesome, we just had this flag go off not too long ago and ooh it's it's decent it's not giant loosen your drag just a little bit 
Yeah, okay, good, good. It's nice, not giant, but it's nice. Got all our tools with us here. That's okay, you worry about the fish, yeah, just wait. It's, oh, it's bigger than I thought. Bigger than I thought. Sweet. Oh, 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 Vicious. Vicious, vicious. So good. Right there. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Sweet. Keep tension. Okay, here it comes. That's a nice fish. That's bigger than I thought. Chikai, 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 chikai. Oh, chikai, chikai, chikai. It's okay. It's okay. I just wanted to go all the way back down the hole. We're okay. It's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, the hook's right there by my hand. I can feel the hook by my hand. That's a big gun on that Ooh. thing. That's a pretty good fish. That's another 40 inch fish, Carter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Awesome. Beautiful day for him too. I can feel that fish with the hook right beside there. It's hardly hooked, hardly hooked. I can feel it when I put my hand in there. Done, easy, nothing to it at all. Show it off again one more time. We already got you a good picture today. We'll just let this one go right here, hey? Sure. Super girth, super girthy fish. <sighs> Beautiful fish, Carter. Like another 40, I'd say 40, 41. It's like almost like a twin fish, really. Beautiful fish. Oh. Wow, dude. What a day. What a day. Two tanks. Those are the only two fish we've caught. We had Another flag right before, it probably was the same fish. We rebaited and right it went off again. Yeah, like within a few minutes. And like I said, when I talked about where we were fishing, the area, we had one more flag right to start the day off. So it hasn't been a lot of action, but you want to catch monsters, big ones. A lot of it is just patience and time, right? Yep. Carter said to me, he goes earlier, he goes, probably about three hours into the day, he goes, if I was fishing by myself, I'd already be gone to a new spot. And I'm just like, Carter, patience. Hope you guys enjoyed that last sequence with just one camera. You didn't get to witness the whole head coming out of the hole and all that fun stuff. Cause my head camera battery died and I had had a slip up and I forgot to change it. I'm the worst. At least you gotta see the fish. Anyways, that was Carter's second pike over 40 inches today. He's in that truck, he can't hear me talking, but I'm pretty, pretty pumped for him. I, in the last two times, this is the third time we've gone out, I've put all the reels on the right hand side and I let him take all the flags. I haven't touched one. It's awesome to watch him catch it. You see his excitement. It's raw, it's real, it's fun. It's, when he's not excited, you can tell because he's nervous, right? Like, but when it does happen, that little giggle and everything, it's so good. So congratulations, buddy. You're killing it. Get down here, Carter. We just packed everything up, put away. Two fish today, but they're both big ones. So you did good. I'll take it. You'll take it? That's good. What's, what's one advice you can give to anybody for a full day of pike fishing? Be patient. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. I feel like that was so forced, but it wasn't. That's just because what we talked about earlier today, like I mentioned after that last fish. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This could be my last pike video for a while. We are moving on to some lake trout for sure. We'll see. You never know what I'm going to do. I just go out and go fishing for the most part. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, get outside.